Look into my eyes. When you see me on a show, when you see these fans, you know you've got the best in the damn world. This is the Wrestling Matters Podcast where we stand up for professional wrestling. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. Well, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Professional wrestling, this is it. This is us standing up. Yes, 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 yes. That's 1314. Let's make it to death. Dina, I am the best in the world. Consents the bottom line. What's happening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anthony Walker and welcome to this very special podcast, it is a very special podcast exclusive to the Wrestling Matters channel and SoundCloud.com, that is right, where you can download it for free on SoundCloud.com, yep, it is NXT Predictions, Brooklyn 2, that's right, it's coming back to Brooklyn again, just like SummerSlam is, and we are going to watch it on Saturday night. Well, I'll probably watch it on Sunday, but we're going to watch it any either way, and I'll review it as well. Probably round about the time I'm watching SummerSlam as well. You know, I'll probably do a huge big podcast on SummerSlam and NXT and that, but we'll see see how things go. Right, we'll kick off though with three matches that yeah really don't mean that much to in my opinion. But it'll be great. Well, two will be great to see anyway. One will be very interesting to see. See how the wrestler pans out. We'll get to that in a second, though. There's six matches all together. Ember Moon, which I'm guessing is a woman. So I'm guessing it's a women's match against Billy Kay. Don't know really much about these two. But if I had to make a prediction, I would probably say Ember Moon will win. I don't really, like I said, I'm not, I apologize for not going into that too much detail. I don't really... I haven't seen them wrestle that much on NXT. Uh, but, yeah, Ember Moon will win. The next match is a feud that has been brewing for a while since, since well, since No Way Jose's opponent lost to Shinsuke Nakamura, which is Austin Aries. Now, I don't know why this feud has took place. I'm guessing this is designed to get No Way Jose over. It's one of them feuds where... You know, the experienced wrestler that is Austin Aries tries to get the guy, you know, no way Jose over. You know, kind of like a Chris Jericho kind of thing. So, to make a prediction, no way Jose will win. That's my prediction. I love Austin Aries, but I'm guessing, like I said, this looks like it's been built to a point where no way Jose is going to get over at the expense of him. You know, Austin Aries is feuding with him to help him out. Kind of thing. That's the way I see it. I might be wrong. This is just a prediction. Uh, if Austin Aries wins, I will not be disappointed. But no way, Jose. I think they want to push this guy over in NXT, you know, and get him over and get him out there. And hey, no way, to, no better way to do it than do it at the expense of Austin Aries. He can help out. But yeah, no way, Jose is my prediction to win. But if Austin wins, I won't be disappointed. Andred Almez takes on Bobby Roode. Now, this is Bobby's debut. Again, I'm guessing this is another match designed to put Almez over, to get him over. Nothing really has been built in this match. It was just basically Bobby coming out and challenging the guy to a match at the NXT TakeOver. I'm going to predict, and I hope this happens, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode to win because it's his debut match. He's come in, you know, the glorious and the glorious bomb and everything. He's got so much hype. If he loses to this guy, all of that has been a waste of time. And it's not going to make somebody of his stature look good if he loses his first match in NXT, in my opinion. So I'm guessing Bobby Roode, if he wants to be the big dog, you know, go for the NXT title, I'm guessing Bobby will win. So my prediction will be Bobby Roode to win that match. Now we get to three matches that mean something. Mean more than the other three in that respect. Oscar and Bailey for the women's title. Now... I'm in two minds about this. Would I like to see Bailey become the first ever women's two-time NXT champion? Yes, I would. But my prediction is Oscar to win this match. And the reason why I'm saying that is you've seen it the past couple of months. You saw it at Battleground. It's been teased 
to a point where Bailey's going to end up going coming to the main roster. You know, she filled in, became a tag team partner for Sasha Banks at the Battleground pay per view. The only reason they've kept her to this point is because management and NXT management, WWE management, Vince McMahon in particular, wanted Bailey to challenge Oscar for the championship. I mean, they probably would have done this at NXT TakeOver at the end, but Bailey was injured. I wasn't fit enough to compete. So, I think it's more suited to do it at this point anyway. So, prediction-wise, Oscar to win. But if Bailey wins, I'll be surprised, but I won't be disappointed. I'll be happy. But my prediction is Oscar to win, just based on the fact that I think it's about time that Bailey ends up on the main roster. And she's, and like I say, it's already being teased to be on the main roster. But either way, I think this match will steal the show. And if this match doesn't steal the show, this one will, probably. The Revival defend the NXT Tag Team titles against two guys who, in the last six, in the first round of the CWC, beat the living crap out of each other. That's Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they are a tag team. If you go back and watch their match in the CWC, you probably wouldn't think it. But they are a tag team. And like I said, if you haven't saw their match in CWC, go and watch it. Just go and find it and watch it. Just watch it for that. Just watch the episode just for that match and you won't be disappointed. That I can promise you. I like the revival because they're modern day brain busters. And if you don't know who the brain busters are, Arn Anderson and Tolly Blanchard back in, you know, late 80s, early 90s. But... Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa have been a great tag team in NXT. From what I've seen, they have worked well and they've gelled well together. That's probably why they had the awesome match at CWC, because the chemistry between these two is amazing. And I would like to see these two become tag team champions, so my prediction will be Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa to win the tag team titles. I would definitely like to see these two become tag team champions. It'd be different, it'd be new. Either way, if the women's match doesn't steal the show, I've got a funny feeling this will definitely steal the show. And uh, my pick is Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa to win. Now for the main event. Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura. This match is the main event, and this match will probably blow the roof off the place. And again, this is the third candidate to be match of the night. I think Gargano, I, am, I think Shinsuke Nakamura will win. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's because the way they've built him up. Because he had to beat Austin Aries. He beat Finn Balor. He beat people like that to build him up to this point. And then after the Balor match, Regal came out and went, you've got your match and you will wrestle some more Joe at Brooklyn. So it's the way they built him up makes me think maybe we'll get a new champion. And maybe Nakamura will become the new champion. If Samoa Joe... Bec wins this match I won't be disappointed because I like the way NXT have used Samoa Joe you know they kind of use him like they used it back in Ring of Honor I think this guy was a two year champion two year Ring of Honor world champion and he was just a badass absolute straight up badass and that's what he is in this, comp in this company as well in the NXT as champion he's a complete badass and if he beats Nakamura here I won't be disappointed because that tells me that NXT are using him right, which is beautiful, and which is how it should be, because he is a badass. He's not the, you know, the nation of violence, bullshit, or any of that crap. You know, just let him be him. Let him be some more Joe. Let him be the, the butt-kicking machine that he is. My prediction, though, is Nakamura to win it, just based on the way they've built Nakamura up to this point. If some more Joe wins, I won't be disappointed. All I know is it's going to be an unbelievable match. There's no question about that. And that is, my, that is my predictions for NXT TakeOver, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, download this for free on SoundCloud.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like this as well. I'm looking to do some video podcasting at some point as well. But... Uh, I have to, like I say, I've still got things to sort out first in terms of setting it out. Yeah, I am doing some changes. And hopefully, before long, I'll be up doing that as well. But I'm having fun doing these podcasts for you guys, man. Um, I really am having fun doing these podcasts. And it makes things easy as well. And it allows me to create extra podcasts. Besides the one I give you on the Mondays, you know, keeps it more fresh. You know, do fresh things and fresh ideas, which is beautiful to me. And I love that kind of stuff, you know, keep things fresh. So if you want to listen to more podcasts like this, subscribe to the Wrestling Matters channel, youtube.com forward slash AJW Wrestling Matters. 
download it for free as well on soundcloud all the links should be in the description below and until next time guys look out for my summer slam review as well and my nxt review as well which i'll probably do both at the same time and also check out my episode 125 of the wrestling matters podcast as well on the swift talk network as well and shout out to everybody who sent me birthday wishes it was my birthday this past week august 19th and yeah i had a very peaceful relaxing day despite the fact i was getting tortured by my niece but that's another issue for another day all in all thanks for listening guys hope you guys enjoy the summer slam weekend that is because i know i will birthday weekend summer slam weekend it's been beautiful and uh, until next time guys my name is anthony walker saying peace out well enough is enough and it's time for a change! Professional wrestling! This is it! This is us standing up! Yes! 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 That's 1314! Tell this! Dina, I am the best in the world. Cause that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold Simpson.